We, Kyle, what did we just receive from a national forest? We received an endorsement of some type. Oh, yeah. an yeah. email. <laughs> yes. An email Ooh. from Hunter. Hunter. Hunter's from South Louisiana. Yep. Nice. And he was doing a job removing a large rotten oak tree uh, when he saw some woodpecker holes. And he was curious, could these potentially be an ivory build woodpecker? So he sent us some pictures. He took photos. Yeah. So yep. I haven't seen these yet. Uh, yeah. Every time these sound very uh, appealing, I send them direct to Kyle. And I'm like, let's uh, sure, let's dig in. Yeah, let's yeah. play along. So let's see. So Wait, first. Yeah. Do you believe the I there is still at least one ivory build woodpecker that's extant? Until like five years ago, I did. And now, now, no. Just because it's still not yeah. been it's found? It's just like there's so many birders. There's so much technology. Especially in the last five years, they've come up with a, a lot of these like acoustic monitoring systems. Oh, interesting! And it, not that many people are using them, but still, like there is these these uh, I forget what they're called, like uh, audio frequency detectors or AFDs or something like that. It's basically a trail camera for audio, ah. and people are using them. Birders are using them, and there's just no hard evidence of this bird. Okay, so, as the ivory build, uh, if it were to exist, would it only reside in North America, or are they from all over? Uh, Cuba. And then uh, the southeast of the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So let's see these pics. Here's these pictures that Hunter sent in. Here's the first one. Drum roll. Okay. Okay. That definitely looks like Woody the Woodpecker. So you're looking at... So I got confused between a pileated and an ivory bill yep. when we were searching. Yep. And there's a distinctive wing pattern with the white on the wing. Correct. So, mm. Kyle, maybe pull up a key for us, which is ivory build versus pileated woodpecker. And pileated are very common regular woodpeckers. Yep. Relatively yeah, all common. Over, all yeah. over the U.S. But the main thing here, uh, actually, that no, that one was good. You had it there. So there's a couple things here. The main thing is the white on the wing tips. So see on the ivory build how there's white triangles on the wings versus the pileated? Yeah. And then, obviously, it's token name, ivory build woodpecker. It has a white bill. Any difference between male, female? Well, like, yeah, the female of the ivory build doesn't have the red crown. Okay. Yeah. So but it still has the, the white. And on, then see the, the eye striping and whatnot of the pileated. So let's go back to oh, the, yeah. the picture from our guy here. There yeah. is what appears to be some white on that lower wing. Do you see that? It yeah. does look like that. That's interesting. That tail feather goes out really far, too. Is that same on same. both birds? That, that's yeah. the same. And the size, the ivory build's a little bit larger than the pileated, but they're both really big birds. And is there another photo, there. Kyle? There is. The neck is smaller than Forrest's right leg. Is so. there a bird in this photo? Yeah, I see it. Oh. You're not going to be able to see enough about the face. It's tough, I don't think. No. Can go, you go back, back to, to the, the first key? one. Yeah, so you, what you have is an intriguing white streak down the wing. Mm -hmm. um, go back to the key. Kyle? Hard to say conclusively, though, because of the quality of the picture. Because the pileated also has some white that runs down the side, right? On the body? Under its wing, Yeah. But I think what happens a lot, and I would say what's happened here, go back to it, Kyle. What's happened here is they have a beautiful shimmer to their feathers, and the light is catching it just right mm. so that the camera makes it look as though there's white coming off that lower wing. But what it really is is that angle is perfectly reflecting the sunlight, so it's getting that shimmer, and it yep. distorts the image a little bit to make it look as though it's got white on it. So. Certainly not conclusive, but of all the uh, all the Sorry. ivory build woodpecker photos I've seen, of which there are now tens of thousands, it's one of the better ones. It's one of the more compelling looking. Yeah, ones. the tough thing is, you know, most people that are even interested aren't out there with a, a birding camera, right? Yeah, same so with aliens. You, you got right. You got an iPhone, and UFOs. by the time you you know zoom, zoom in, in, yeah, you you can't tell the difference between a, a shimmer. Totally. But we love when people send this stuff in. Keep oh, it coming. A little, a little clue for Hunter who took this and anybody else. Take a video. Whenever, if you're just pulling out your iPhone, you're like, what th could that be? Take a video instead of photos because video is much more conclusive. There are recognizable patterns in video versus a photo. Oh, it flew that way. Oh, it made that sound. Whatever it happens to be, take a video. So that way, even if this is the best image you get from the video, maybe if you had seen this bird take off, that would have told you enough to know that from the flight pattern whether or not it could have actually been an ivory bill versus well, a Well, let's a also, here's another thing. How long does it take you to frame up the photo and take a photo? Let's say it takes about 10 seconds. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're filming, what's the math on this, Peter? How many photos do you have if you film for 10 seconds? Usually, I mean, 24 photos per second. Right. So even if you film for 10 seconds, you have 240 photos. Right. Yeah. Right. 
can show you different angles, different it moves, yep. and Especially the sun if changes. If you're or whatever. in four K or eight K, you really want to do it. Get in eight K. Those stills, they might have some motion blur, but they're still going to look pretty good even at at that. And a good rate. a good example is that uh, colossal squid we looked at a few weeks ago. Yeah, if that had just been a single image, nobody would have known what it was. Well, that's same, true. Yeah, yeah. Same with the well when we looked at the thylacine last week or a couple of weeks ago. I think the last podcast we were. I mean, I think it, it, you're you're assumption on it at the end of the day was behavior based because of the kind of the way it was walking. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So.